San Carlos City, Negros Occidental, Philippines, became a city on July 1, 1960. Composed of 18 barangays with a population less than 133,000 and total land area of 45,150 hectares. 29,521 hectares are agricultural lands. 9,400 hectares are protected forest areas. 6,229 hectares are non-agricultural intended for residential, commercial, industrial, institutional, tourism, recreational, and built-up purposes with farming, fishing, cottage industries, SMEs for livelihood. The Economic Zone was established in 1998 which houses the San Carlos Bioenergy Incorporated the first fuel bioethanol and cogeneration facility in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. As a pioneer in the biofuels industry and the renewable energy industry, SEBI encountered a lot of challenges. However, these challenges were easily surmounted with the support of the local government. And we are grateful to the local government of San Carlos City for making it easy for SEBI to continue operating in San Carlos City. We produce fuel ethanol for blending with gasoline. Other companies in the economic zone are San Carlos Biopower Incorporated, Wig Factory. The name of our company is Art Nature Manufacturing Philippines Incorporated. Uh, we focus in on wig manufacturing. San Carlos is one of our eco zone area, and then pangalawa ay ang mabilis tayong makahanap dito ng manpower. So at sa kana pagaganda ng lugar at ang mga tao dito ay talagang napakasisipag. So, and solar power plants. The San Carlos eco zone is best approved with a total area of 405 hectares. With the fiscal incentives provided under the Special Economic Zone Act, as well as the local incentives granted by the City of San Carlos, the EcoZone is an ideal place to bring in your investment. The public market and public transport terminal also provides a wide venue for various small-medium enterprises to thrive. The city also provides farm demo area in assistance to local farmers to innovate and develop farming techniques. The City Environment Management Office takes care of the whole city. Okay, uh, mao niya ato ang welcome sa Eco Center Dam site. Uh, mao niya ato ang Imaret sa Kusalikod. Udihan nato ginahimo ang ato ang uh, segregation. Straight na tapos pag straight nato, ina proceed nato na sa atong window composting. Ato na siya nang ginaayag mao na siya ang natural compost nato, uh, mao na sa 22 pesos per kilo. San Carlos City boosted its business one-stop shop by streamlining its business licensing system from the minimum of five processes to a shorter transaction of three processes so that the business sector will have the ease of doing business in the city. San Carlos City
The Pinta Flores highlights the city's celebration of life and cultural heritage every November 3 to 5 of the year. The boulevard comes to life as the setting sun engulfs the last flicker of light on the horizon. It is the city's melting pot every night where groups of families and friends meet and enjoy the sea breeze while having dinner. The city government provides its citizens with various training. The showroom provides ample venue for locals and tourists alike to buy local delicacies of the city and souvenir items. The city also supports sports enthusiasts. By providing them various sports facilities. San Carlos City officials make sure that services provided will be beneficial to the people and well sustained. Outreach programs are carried out even in the mountain barangays. I am Anacleto Villarante Jr., Executive Director of San Carlos Development Board. Our office is a non-governmental organization and we assist the city in the monitoring of the master development plan which includes uh, several sectors, economic, infrastructure, social. In San Carlos City, we have a battle cry. We have the so-called team unity and continuity. Programs of the mayor will be continued after his term end by the vice mayor. Programs that is left behind, we always see to it that the next mayor will finish the project left behind by the former mayor. Before the next mayor will initiate a new program. That is how we do it, what we will do, there is always a harmonious relationship between the executive and the legislative. Come and visit San Carlos City. In behalf of the city of San Carlos, I am inviting you to become an investor in our beautiful city. As your water provider, we assure you that our city has the capability and the infrastructure that sits comfortably with your investment goals. These sectors of the city provide for the continuous peace and order. safety and quick response to every emergency situation.
240 bed capacity hospital is newly built to cater to the medical needs of local residents in nearby towns. Because of its sustainable best practices, San Carlos City was conferred with several awards by prestigious award-giving bodies within the country The dynamic governance of our local government, San Carlos City is an excellent investment destination. Vamos, San Carlos! 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 Come and invest in San Carlos, and our experience, our very peaceful community, and our warm hospitality. Enjoy the island of Sipawai, our and many tourist attractions. Let's work together to develop and manage our fertile agricultural land and our 5,000 hectare carp exempt land. And we assure you of support of government because in San Carlos, we serve, we lead, and we live integrity. Come on, let's invest in San Carlos. Vamos, San Carlos! Vamos, San Carlos.